This is a, uh, a cannot even see it. Oh, it's down there, that little green light. Let's open the case. What do we got this? Oh, money! I'm selling stuff. We got this. So this came out with a 970. And I said, eh, let me get the 960. It's kind of proven. And I got a good deal on it. It had eBay coupon. Uh, well, I don't know. Not good of a deal. I'll probably save, like, Maybe a little over 10 bucks compared to a 970. I should have just probably got a 970. But, this is, I got a 960 NVMe drive. It's like a solid state drive, but it's not SATA. It's NVMe. What does that NVMe stand for? I forget something interface. NVMe Express. It's faster. I had to use an adapter card because I don't have the slot on my motherboard so I got a couple I actually have two of these one this is one you just saw and one's in the computer now so I was having I guess you some people say it doesn't work with my setup but it will all you have to do is get a uh, a patch basically or a hotfix right here hotfix download you download this they want an email address they'll send it to you this is on the Microsoft site and then the only really thing you have to do is download the correct drivers like it will actually be installed on windows and windows will recognize it and you have to go in device manager or whatever and set it up but you actually need which i didn't download the nvme driver because i downloaded the samsung magician software and the drive was not recognized it said it not supported until i downloaded the nvme driver so you must get that so many things on the internet people are complaining that the thing wouldn't recognize and the drive shows up as non supported but no one gave them the solution of downloading the driver. I just looked at that and go, oh look, driver, dumbass, I downloaded it, it worked. So I don't know, a lot of misinformation on the internet, do not rely on people to tell you what the deal is on the internet. See that Samsung magician. I think there's actually a free program from Samsung on um, you can migrate your data too. I have to do that. I might put all my stuff on the NVMe drive and take it off my solid state drive. This is super slow. I had problems with this too. This is crashing my computer. Oh, there you go. Sweet. Yeah, this wouldn't show up before. It just said unsupported. So that was kind of strange. Now it doesn't need the driver. What else? That's the magician software. Yeah, I think it has my uh, data migration. I'm going tired. Rewrite speed. The 960 is only like a hundred more than this. It's not that much different. This is newer and the price is lower actually compared to what this was, but I paid less for the 960 than a 970. And it wasn't supposed to work and it did on my application, so don't believe it. Cool thing to do, a cool mod, you just need an adapter card and an NVMe drive and you can get it to work. Samsung has a whole forum. People complain, oh, it doesn't work and it's not showing up. The Samsung Magician unsupported. Not too many people really said they upgraded the drivers. And um, they're, basically their solution was to keep clicking refresh. Like, oops, I just missed it. Refresh is up here. Like right over here it was. And then it has to have some server you have to connect to from South Korea. And sometimes it gets blocked out and this or that. But... I don't even think that was the cause. I personally think that people just didn't have the drivers. And if you have an older operating system, you need the uh, the hotfix. One day, I'll maybe have to go to Windows 10. Oh, man. So that's that. Works great. If you have a problem with your Samsung cell state drive saying it's not supported, Upgrade the drivers, you know, go to the Samsung site, download all the drivers from there, don't rely on the Windows driver, and it just might work. And of course, restart your machine, all that good stuff. Yeah. An older operating system, get the hotfix. There also was something else I downloaded. Some Windows, I don't know, something. I can't think of it. That's what I didn't have. I didn't have Windows Management Framework 5.1. I downloaded that. And I also 
didn't have this, so I added these two programs. It might have helped a little bit. I was having like startup issues. I don't know, some errors would get thrown up now and then. But now it's good now. I don't know. It's just throwing stuff at it, and it works when it shouldn't work. Put a Samsung 960 Evo NVMe drive into my computer. And you can't see it because we've got this monstrosity video card. But a lot of people complaining that these SSD drives are not... Pick, uh, you can't uh, use Magician on here, Samsung Magician. I think it's called that. All you got to do is download the proper driver. Shows up recognized. It won't be recognized or it shows up as non-supported when you don't have it. Alright, let's go get this thing apart. Here's my outdated 1060, which extremely dropped in price. Big freaking video card. I uh, see this is wrong. Right here, I, I'm disabling uh, what's it, ASM or something. It's like the eSATA drive. I don't need it. Cause that's what port. Um, I mean, if you disable it, my NVMe card and adapter might be slightly faster. I'm put that over here, so this believes that port is done. Um, see, these brown ones, they're 6 gigabit per second. The white is 3 gigabit per second. So I think I put the CD drive on the 3. 